Quan Jin and Jason Kiefer from Superstar Karate here, bringing you video four of the five tenets of Christmas Challenge. Now, I just want to let you know how much I'm really enjoying the emails that are coming in from you guys, uh, saying that you did that home workout, and with your answer uh, to the, the challenge question uh, that's asked at the end of the videos. Uh, I'm really enjoying this over the winter break, so keep those coming in. Now, if you've missed a challenge so far, no problem. Feel free to go back and, uh, and do them. And remember, you don't have to do all five of these uh, challenges. You can just choose to do you know, one or two if you'd like. Now, this video series is for students and parents. So parents, uh, if your child is not around, please pause this video now and go grab them and bring them back so you guys can watch and enjoy it together. And at the end of this video, I'll go ahead and present to you guys a quick challenge where students can earn not only a class credit, but also a special gold stripe, a metallic gold stripe for their belt, uh, which they'll be rewarded upon their return to class. So this is an awesome opportunity. Plus, you get to feel great just for completing the challenge. Today, we're going to cover the fourth tenant uh, from the five tenets of Christmas challenge. And the fourth one is knowledge. And I have a quote from Anton Chekhov that I'd like to share with you. He said, knowledge is of no value unless you put it into practice. So knowledge is of no value unless you put it into practice. You see, most of the time, we know what to do. Uh, however, do we actually do it? For example, when you see someone who may need help, you know you should help them. There's that little voice inside your head telling you, help them, help them, help them. However, do you actually help them? Or when you are completely in the wrong about something, uh, maybe, maybe you offended someone, uh, you know, you upset them or whatever, or maybe you did something that you know you shouldn't have done. You know you should apologize for your actions, but do you? See, knowledge is not simply information. Knowledge is a responsibility. And you learn that in our student creed, and you say it every time you come to class. You say, I will accept responsibility for my own actions. So are you practicing what you preach? Are you doing what Anton Chekhov said and putting it into practice? Now your challenge for today's video is first do one at-home workout. So go ahead and go through uh, the email, find that at-home workout and do it. Then email us back at superstarkarate at gmail.com. Again, that's superstarkarate at gmail.com. And email us back saying that you completed the at-home workout. And I also want you to answer the following question. Based on your knowledge of what you know right now, what's one thing that you can do to improve your martial arts training? Or better yet, what's one thing that you can do to become a better martial artist. So again, I want you to answer the question based on your knowledge from what you know right now. What is one thing you can do to become a better martial artist? Uh, for example, uh, let's say you want to improve your stretching. You know if you stretch on a daily basis, and each time you stretch, you work to improve a little bit, that you will become more flexible. So uh, maybe you aren't looking to become more flexible. Maybe you want uh, stronger kicks, or maybe you want to have faster punches, or maybe you want to have lower stances. Whatever it is you want to do, I want you to think of that one thing you can do to become a better martial artist and start doing it right away. And be sure to remember that one thing when you return to classes in January, so that way in each class you take, 
during the winter season, you can be working on developing that one thing and becoming a better martial artist. If you are what you say you are, a superstar, then have no